surprise because I'm starting my day here right around uh, just around 4 o'clock I'm in my old place this is a video test for the new system back here that now has a web camera that will do 720p it's a refurbish once again uh, like I had before it's actually the same one I had before back here the difference being using a new method this new method hopefully will provide a better quality picture and a better uh, and a better setting. So we'll see what happens here. Anyways, uh, that's about it for now. I'm gonna leave it short. I'm gonna leave it sweet because this is, after all, a video test, and I will be taking the other uh, video that I did yesterday, putting it together on the other on the front room computer and uploading it already so I'll see you a little later today well uh, the video has just uploaded and now it's time to uh, get into uh, YouTube and uh, slowly but surely start pushing everything out so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to start pushing everything out wait for Facebook to, uh, wait for Oh, sorry. Today's gonna be another long day. It's good. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a lot done, but uh, it appears that I'm not gonna be going to bed for uh, at least 24 hours. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Oh, got everything set up. Gotta readjust the camera a little bit. Sorry, guys. Minor adjustment. So, so I gotta, I gotta set this in here to view everything. It sets it automatically to, uh, uh, to view just highlights, but I want to view everything because I want to see a lot of the stuff. And I try to go as far back as I can. Right now, at the bottom, we're two hours ago, and it's just around five o'clock. So I want to go back at least twelve hours. So see what I got through, you know, what I missed through the day, and go through all the different uh, stuff. So nine hours, ten hours. Oh, we're at the bottom here. We're at uh, ten hours ago. So twelve hours ago is five o'clock in the morning. Plus two hours uh, brings us to seven o'clock in the morning, and that's. Uh, and that's ten hours ago. So basically, uh, I've got everything here from uh, from seven o'clock in the morning on, and so now I'll go through the YouTube channels one by one, you know, bit by bit to see uh, what I missed and uh, uh, anything else. <laughs> so uh, I should be in about a half hour, forty-five minutes, uh, pushing out the uh, video I just uploaded today for. Uh, X, it's the X Plus for uh, June 1st. We've been now, this is our, we're now in our sixth month. At the end of June, we will be moving over to a new playlist because the first season will have finished and we'll begin our second season. So, July 1st, our, our, uh, our second season. Incidentally, uh, I call that Independence Week because we have Canada Day and at the, of on July 4th we have uh, American Independence Day. So, I just let's call it in, uh, Independent Week. Uh, it lasts an entire week, so for that, 
and uh, we'll have our fun. So, yay for six months. We're in our six months. Clap, everyone, if you want to, and uh, I'm all happy. So, uh, I'll talk to you in a bit, give you another brief update. Uh, I think the test went well from the front room, uh, from, no, sorry, from, from where I did uh, uh, the first comments of the, of the day, the first uh, segment. So, uh, we're going to continue on. It's about 12.30 in the morning, and the day is still rolling along. Oh, 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 oh. So I thought I'd give you an update uh, of what's happened. I'm scrolling through YouTube, uh, writing some stuff down to see what I need to get done for Monday. You know, set up Monday's schedule for the week. And what else is there? Oh yeah, I finished cleaning up some other room over here. And uh, working on basically, I guess we call it... Uh, my uh, little, uh, I have a little restaurant in here because I like to eat, so I learned how to cook. And so I made this own from not expensive stuff, but rather uh, cheap household stuff that you can find around. I built a little restaurant in here, so uh, looking at some of the stuff, well, you know, going over the menu and uh, seeing what can and can't be made, and then uh, going from there. Yeah, that's about it for now. I'll let you guys go, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so what are we doing right now? It's around 10.30, and we are moving on to another one of those 48-hour-plus uh, days. So, one, uh, both Saturday and Sunday are morphed into one. That means uh, X Plus won't be uploaded till Monday, so you'll see the weekend basically uh, on Monday because uh, it's a 48-hour day. Oh, and if you haven't noticed that that sometimes I am tired, tired, and that's well because a number of these 48-hour days occurs sometimes within days of each other. They they, they could be, you know. Depends on how things fall. It could be that I end up working like this, uh, you know, two or three times during in, in, in the span of a week. So, anyways, uh, you know more what's going on as I'm uh, right now. I'm just sort of going through some of my YouTube stuff. So, and after that and that, then I'm, I might do some piano practice. All right, take it easy. As I said before, uh, X Plus Big Bang Theory is your backstage pass to see the life of an astrophysicist, um, Dr. Dan Karras. And it's much like, uh, you know, it's much <laughs> like, uh, in many ways, watching a real life version of Big Bang Theory uh, on CBS. And as I said, periodically, uh, what we'll be doing is uh, working on different uh, documentaries. As I try to push out some of my documentary production, uh, push out my 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 research writing. Excuse me. If I try to push out my research writing as documentaries, and one of the things I'm doing is uh, part of giving people part part of the sort of the backstage look uh, to see how things are put together. Is that uh, while we've been talking a lot about uh, in recent days. Uh, since the sort of the the lead up to com uh, to X plus from comments X to X plus, uh, we moved from uh, SD to 720 HD, and we got which is I I was able to get uh, all the studios. I have three basic places that I can I can film at uh, right now working so that now we can get back to normal production at 720p and I said we're not going to be moving up to 1080p anytime soon probably not for another two years or so uh, because of the uh, the throttling aspects and the bandwidth caps put on by the ISP so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be starting a uh, new uh, documentary series and I'm working on it now 
it's on trains. Uh, it's part. Uh, it's going to be part. It's going to be uh, appearing on the uh, Space API channel. That's the channel for both. Uh, and just type of adventures in the library. Taking some notes. That's for all the stuff regarding physics. And one of the things that's very important to uh, uh, to science is that um, you need to take your notes, you need to have a li uh, library research is really key to physics. So we had done uh, library physics, uh, we did uh, library science uh, on the Bass Institute channel regarding uh, using uh, the dictionary to uh, to search and find out words. Now we're going to do adventures in the library. And we're going to be looking at trains and our specific point that we're going to be using is we're going to be using YouTube as our primary source and we're going to try to do as much as we can to uh, find uh, videos specific to this and this is what I'm going to do now. I've got enough content reserved that I can go out and do the first episode or should I say uh, for a segment and each segment is going to be about 15 minutes in length, maximum of 15 minutes in length, not too long. And it's going to it's going to follow uh, what I've actually done here. It's going to be sort of like a screencast right now. And at some point in time, I will be adding sort of maybe segments from here as we talk back and forth on on on, on comments uh, on X Plus as I do comment back and forth here. This will make sometimes be incorporated into the actual document. But now you're going to get you're getting a sort of we're doing a second documentary now. Adventures in the Library will be coming back uh, as of this week for uh, uh, for uh, the Bass Institute channel. This is a new one now, another part in the series. Uh, so, uh, this will be for the, the uh, Space API channel. API stands for uh, Astronomy and Physics Institute. And we're going to be trying to pull as much physics out of this train um, uh, research as possible. So, we're, we'll be focusing on physics and engineering. So, that's that for, the, for, for uh, Adventures in the Library for the, what we're doing now. And in a few seconds, uh, I'm going to be starting. Um, uh, a few minutes. I'm still. I've still got some setting up to do. Uh, there's a code here that I have to uh, work on. Then that's what I'm going to be doing now. Is I'm going to be getting a code that allows me to uh, do the filming, the screencast. It's an. Uh, I'm working with FFmpeg. Uh, I have done. Uh, uh, a variety of tests to find out uh, how everything would actually work in terms of the best path for screencasts. And what ended up happening is that uh, the screencasts uh, uh, for all the different stuff I was doing really didn't come out the way I expected it to come out. There were a lot of issues and problems and with almost everything I tried. So, what's happening now is I tried uh, a command line, a command line uh, option that you can do in Linux using FFmpeg, and that seemed to work out the best. So, what I'm doing, what I'm doing now is I'm sending up the code so I can just simply cut and paste it. And this is going to be in. Uh, I have to set up a new folder for this. This is going to be part of the space. 
program API channel. And it's the only program in here, so we're gonna right now we're gonna leave it because it's gonna be an empty thing. So we wanna get the uh the U the URL for it. In Linux everything is a URL. There is no uh C prompt or drive this or drive that anymore. It's all uh it's all basically How should I say it? It's all basically uh, like the internet as you move it around from point to point. So this is going to be trains 01. There we go. Train 01. Put that into memory now. And it's time to film. The first segment. Well, it's just about 11.30, and I'm watching one of the documentaries that I found as I was doing the segment on um, adventures in the library, looking at trains, uh, looking at physics and engineering at, with, uh, using trains. So, I'm watching this documentary now. It's, it's, it's going to be a pretty in interesting adventure to sort of see uh, where we can go with this and uh, how much physics... Uh, out of the simple workstation can actually be pulled up. So you'll be seeing this more with other programs as I develop these other programs. You'll be seeing a lot of the behind the scenes. So right now we're doing segment production. The segment production gives me the material that will eventually go into the documentary. Now it'll either be a one, just one single simple document or it'll be a documentary series. I really sort of have to sort of see how much material I can put together and what I want to present in the documentary. So, but otherwise, the segments are fine. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Well, yeah, it's around quarter past the midnight. I'm watching another documentary here. Uh, this is part of the library research that I do. And I'm adding a, I found a good history section. Well, and that's what I'm doing now, adding a new history section Maury to Hauser, the Adventures in the Library, we're actually on, on the uh, train section. And come over on so this, this is the train section of uh, Adventures in the Library. Together, I'm adding a uh, hi history section. This is something new that just, just developed out of this now. And this is what happens. As you but go as along, as you're doing your research, uh, you find new things, you start I think one, a branching one out and defining things better. The initial overview is very rough, very sketchy. You know, there's not much connection between the different points. Here, so and then as you start pulling the information, the drawing, as you start pulling your, your stuff together and getting more information, you can now start subdividing things into more specific categories. So this is what I'm doing here, and I've got another couple hours worth of uh, research to do on, these uh, on this before I move forward. All right. The frame was dropped beneath. Well, it's 3:18 in the morning. 3:18 in the morning, um, or three hours and 18 minutes into the day of June 4th, Monday, June 4th. So. We're going to be doing both the AM, PM, and the 24-hour time. This is going to be the new standard. Uh, I just finished the main section of uh, train videos that I needed to watch. Uh, took my notes. I have another 30 minutes uh, of... Uh, I have to go back and check some other stuff that I want to check on. This is for my notes, so it's another 30 minutes in there. Um, We've got to the point now where I've got a I've got a title I've got this sort of figured out how I want to put things together. Um, I decided that the Adventure in the Library is going to have a variety of series to it, so this is going to be a um, uh, this is going to be the title is going to be um, <coughs> excuse me the title is going to be Trains Physics and Engineering part of the Adventure in the Library series. So that's what this is. Uh, that's what, we're, that's what I'm, I'm working on now, right now. Uh, I am ju I've just, I should be uploading uh, segment one uh, sometime today, or just a little bit after I finish here. Uh, and then segment two uh, will be uh, 
sometime uh, next week. I'm pro I, I intend to do uh, the segments by the week rather than by than, try than, than trying to do them any quicker. Uh, so far, as things have sort of developed in my notes, and that's what I'm just sort of clicking around my notes now, is we started off with just a general source uh, with nothing specifically categorized. Then uh, I was able to find some good history videos. And now I was able to get uh, enough his history videos that uh, would be interesting um, that I found. As, and there's a section under history now called Old Age, Fond Memories and Abandonment. This is, uh, these are, this is footage of the railroad uh, as it's changed from era to era. So we can sort of see how the railroad, ha it, it, certain sections have aged, been abandoned, changed, and adjusted over the, over a period of time. Over, well, uh, basically over a period of, we can do it now, uh, since it's uh, the late 1800s, so we can do, we can cover more than a hundred years worth of uh, railroading. So that's how we're going to do things. We're going to see how things change, uh, what has happened to the past, how fond memories have brought back restoration, and uh, this can kind of lead into uh, things like archaeology, finding old wrecks, doing uh, recovery, salvage, uh, whole areas there. Uh, and this is, this, is, this, is, this is sort of recovering forgotten and abandoned uh, pieces of our past. So anyways, this is where we've gotten to so far. Uh, we've been working on this since around midnight, uh, a little before that, I think. So it's about been about three and a half hours worth of work. So, but as I said, I got another uh, two and a half hours left to go for the end of the day. I should be able to do all the odds and ends I need to get done by five, six o'clock in the morning. So I'll see you in a little bit as I get closer to the end. Well, it's four thirty in the morning or four hours and 30 minutes into Monday, June 4th, and we're at the end segment for the day. Yeah, uh, we're in our cleanup phase, just getting the last bits of work done. The training video is in the editing bay, it's being rendered as we speak, it will be uploaded in about an hour or so, so, uh, yeah. This is it. We're nearing the end the end of the day. All right, we'll see you in a couple hours. For the next for the new beginning of the next day of, of today. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.